a mesh router that promises 11 gigabits per second. That's faster than most people's entire internet connection. The TP-Link Deco BE11000 just dropped, and everyone's asking if Wi-Fi 7 is worth the upgrade price. After diving deep into the system, I found something fascinating. This isn't actually a new router. It's literally rebranded BE65 Pro units bundled together. TP-Link just slapped a new model number on existing hardware and called it a day. Peak capitalism right there. The specs look nuclear on paper. Tri-band Wi-Fi 7 with that shiny 6 gigahertz band, delivering genuine multi-gigabit speeds across most homes, maintaining around 2 gigabits even at the edges. That's legitimately impressive performance that puts most older mesh systems to shame. But here's where things get spicy. Community forums are absolutely lighting up with connection stability complaints. Users report frequent drops and devices randomly disconnecting despite those blazing speeds. It's like having a Ferrari that randomly stalls at traffic lights. The pricing is absolutely unhinged. Best Buy sells the two-pack for $600, but Costco has the three-pack for roughly the same price. That makes zero mathematical sense unless someone's playing distribution games. The hardware is solid. Each unit has five gigabit ethernet ports, useful for multi-gig internet or serious wired backhaul. The compact design blends into most homes Without screaming, tech bro lives here. The Deco app remains one of the better mesh management interfaces. Here's the reality check. Wi-Fi 7 is genuinely faster, but your devices need to support it. Most phones and laptops are still on Wi-Fi 6. You're buying future-proofing at premium prices while dealing with first-generation Wi-Fi 7 quirks. The competition is fierce. The Eero Max 7 outperforms this system, in both speed and range, though it costs significantly more. The cheaper BE63 offers nearly identical performance with different ports. My verdict? If you can snag the Costco 3-pack deal and have gigabit plus internet, this delivers genuine improvements. The stability issues are concerning but seem firmware fixable. However, if you're on standard broadband speeds, you're paying premium prices for capabilities you can't utilize. For most users, the BE63 provides better value. If this helped you navigate the mesh router maze without burning cash on overhyped specs, perfect. I investigate networking gear that promises everything and sometimes actually delivers. Hey, Mark here. So look, I spend a lot of time investigating these products and honestly, I'd rather not fill this channel with sponsored content from companies whose products I might end up roasting next week. That would be <laughs> awkward. If this review helped you out, saved you from wasting money, or maybe helped you find something that's actually worth buying, here are a few ways you can support what we're doing here. First up, I've put the link to this specific product down in the description. If you want to check the current price or read more reviews, click through there. And if you do buy through my link, they toss me a few pennies without charging you extra. Win-win. Second option, and this one's for all you regular Amazon shoppers, there's another link down there that just goes to Amazon's homepage. Bookmark it, use it whenever you shop. Doesn't matter if you're buying this product or just restocking on toilet paper. Using that link means a tiny portion of what you're already spending helps fund these investigations. And trust me, Jeff Bezos won't even notice it's missing. <laughs> it's the easiest way to support the channel without spending extra money. Now the third option is for those of you who need help right now. Like, you've got a product sitting in your cart and you're thinking, is this thing legit or am I about to waste my money? That's what our membership is for. Think of it like hiring me as your private BS investigator. For as low as three bucks a month, you submit products for urgent investigation, I do the deep dive, and deliver a personalized review to your inbox in 24 to 72 hours, depending on your tier. It's basically like having me on speed dial for product research. Except, instead of calling, you just send me the sketchy product, and I'll tell you if it's worth your money or complete garbage. Alright, that's it. 
Keep questioning everything, and I'll see you in the next investigation, where we figure out what's actually worth your money and what's just expensive garbage with good marketing. Stay savage out there. Catch you next time.